Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and uh, we are going to continue some of the frequencies and frequency ranges that I like the most off of shortwave. And of course, a lot of people enjoy uh, this series. And a lot of the series, when I talk about you know what I like and how I tune the bands and comment on everything. So one of the frequency ranges that is really, really amazing for international broadcasts. If um, you are in the summertime, well, roughly it will be uh, you know a few hours, one one to two hours before sunset, until a couple of hours after sunrise, that it actually is at its best. In the winter time, it is almost almost. You know, this afternoon was like 1 p.m. and I could actually see some European signals on six megahertz. So. It almost could be sometimes 24 hours, depending on where you live and how close you are to certain types of signals. Well, the 49 meter band of international broadcast. One of the most used international broadcast bands, by the way. It is one of my favorites. Uh, this is, of course, an evening thing. When I listen in, so right now it's 7 p.m. local, which is uh, zero UTC and uh, as you see here there are some signals there and depending on propagation uh, more or less tonight uh, less than usual that seem that propagation maybe is not up to par but you know uh, it's one of the bands that I like to go through so uh, usually you know you can start at almost 5700 kilohertz sometimes and go all the way up to 6200 kilohertz it will have signals, of course, mostly coming from path of darkness because 49 meter band mostly propagates when the sun is down. So that means what you'll listen to will be, uh, you know, in, in that zone of darkness around the earth. So uh, basically um, right now, uh, Europe and uh, most of North America are close to being in darkness. So these would be signals I would hear or even South America. Uh, of course, that means that, you know, Asia would not tr brought really work right now because they're in daylight and so on. So, of course, you know, that's the knowledge that you get from time to time as you tune the uh, shortwave bands. You learn more about propagation and how it works. So, a few signals here that I'm tuning around. Um, WRMI with different broadcasts on 5850 could be interesting in the evening here. And you go on there. Back from the, with the eyes of what has happened and what God has now revealed, suddenly the Old Testament becomes so a different, different stations that are WWCR and so on. Um, notable signals that I will listen to sometimes. I will try uh, 6050, which is uh, HCJB in Quito, Ecuador, one of the last frequencies that still works. Depending on propagation conditions, of course. Uh, there's Radio Vania, Cuba. There's all the all the major broadcasters are on that band uh, in general, so it's one of the bands that's worth uh, really, really tuning around. Honestly, uh, here is uh, Radio Nacional Amazonas in Brazil, 6180. That's coming in. WWCR 6115. Signals are a little weaker tonight than they are in general. Kind of seems to be a little more noisy than. Than, than I, I see it normally but it's uh, one of my interesting bands so you know a couple of hours before sunset um, up to all the night you know it's like throughout the night I, I have signals throughout the night here if I uh, when propagation isn't too bad you know I'll listen to Romania I'll listen to Turkey Turkey was there about an, half an hour ago a voice of Turkey on 5960 uh, Cuba is on 6000 usually very strong radio Romanian evening you'll have um, you know, uh, later in the the evening, I've got uh, Radio Japan from Austria at 0500, uh, BBC 6005 also at 0500. And as the night goes through, of course, you have stations to signing on and off on the frequencies. So it's one of the, the really mostly used international broadcast bands at night. And with lower solar activity, a lot of stations are using the 49 meter band for their uh, different broadcasts. So... Check it out. I think uh, it might be quite interesting to uh, tune around. It's one of the great bands for shortwave listening. And one of my favorites in the evening, uh, local evening, that's for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching our videos.